Welcome to episode number 46. My name is Robert Brill. This is The Great Reset, and we are here five days a week talking about marketing and advertising for business owners, senior executives, and entrepreneurs. Um, today, we're talking about the time value of money, and um, here we go. The time value of money is a really interesting concept and it took me a while to fully feel comfortable with it as a business owner. When I started my business, I was really thinking to myself, okay, how can I earn as much money as possible in order to pay for our employees, to pay for our tools and to have money left over? How do I maximize the amount of revenue that I have that I earn for myself? And just for context, I started the business in 2013 um, when I when I got out of advertising, I was making just a little bit over six figures a year in salary plus opportunities per bonus, and some of them panned out, and some of them didn't. So just a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I was like, okay, I'm going to start my business. I need to. I want to at least not lose money. Ideally, make the same as I made before, or even better. Like the pinnacle is make a lot more than I made when I was an employee. And one of the questions that always came about was like, as a marketer, there are so many tools that are available in the marketplace. Like every ad on my Facebook is, or most of the ads on my Facebook are about tools that marketers should use to get to make marketing better and faster. They cost $10 here and $100 here, et cetera, per month. And I was like, okay, well, that's cool. But do I need that? And I think one of the challenges that some entrepreneurs have is they don't they don't see or value or understand the time value of money. So here's some brief math that I think is relevant for you. If if you're a person who makes fifty thousand dollars a year before taxes, that's your salary. Here's the math: fifty thousand dollars a year, working full time, you're working two thousand and eighty hours a week. I'm sorry, a year. <laughs> not a week, a year. So $50,000 divided by 2,080, your hourly rate is 48 is $24.04. If you earn $100,000 a year, your um, hourly rate is $48.08. And so you can see where the math is. You can see where you fall in that spectrum. So the question is, is if there's a tool that allows you to save one hour of work a month and you make a hundred thousand dollars a year and that cool that tool costs you about forty eight dollars you're on par it's equitable meaning you spend about fifty dollars uh and it saves you one dollar that one dollar of your time is worth fifty dollars now we all know that influence uh, that entrepreneurs end up working a lot harder than just a standard 40 hour week in a lot of cases, we're working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week to build a business, to create opportunities, and to really hone in on the key ideas that are going to drive our business forward. And in a lot of cases, entrepreneurs are tinkerers. We like to play around and toy around with new, quote unquote, toys, ways that we can make our business faster. Certainly, I find that's true of a lot of marketers. So it's quite likely if you're working 80 hours a week and you're making $100,000 a year, your hourly rate is not $48 an hour. It's actually closer to $24 an hour. So if there's a tool that saves you one or two hours a, a, a month, it's well worth that. And quite likely what you'll find, as is the key to uh, uh, succeeding across the world in industrialized countries, is with more tools, you can do exponentially a lot more faster. So with the right tools in the marketplace, with the right tools that you adapt for your business, <clears throat> you actually have the ability to go farther and faster and not be held back by some of the challenges you might face. So here's an example. Here are two examples, actually. We're going to look at Zoom and we're going to look at Calendly. Zoom, as we're all very much aware, is on a 20% discount right now. It's $14.99 per Zoom account for you to have for your business. One of the key benefits to having a Zoom account, other than the free version, in addition to the free version, 
is that the paid version gives you the ability to have a dedicated Zoom number. Now, what are the benefits of that? Well, number one, I use Calendly to set up meetings. Every time someone books on Calendly, they'll automatically get access to my Zoom link in the calendar location, which means I never have to interact with someone when setting a, uh, a meeting, which means the Zoom link is already there and they just we, we both know to appear at the right time and we have our meeting. So the question is, Zoom being $15 a month, if you earn, if you earn $100,000 a year, Zoom needs to cover, needs to save you about a third, 31% of an hour, which means Zoom needs to save you 18.75 minutes. So let's say 19 minutes. If Zoom saves you 19 minutes a, year, a month, it pays for itself if you make $100,000 a year. So how could it save you this time? Well, for one thing, you have your meetings already set. So you don't have to actually send out emails to people and send them calendar links. Number two, you don't have to send them meeting time uh, calendar links at the last minute, right? Because sometimes if you if you have a free account, you don't have a Zoom number until the very last minute and then you set it and then you send it to people, right? And the last benefit is that, I think a very important benefit is that the meetings on free Zoom are 40 minutes. So think about it. you're in a long meeting it's it was supposed to be 30 minutes but it's now approaching 35 and 40 minutes you might be in a really great sales conversation or discovery call and now the whole thing fails what does that do for the momentum of your business you may have killed or stalled an opportunity to earn 10 or 20 or thirty thousand dollars because you have a free zoom link so the the losses could be exponential and you'll never realize it but at the very minimum zoom needs to save you 19 minutes a month, which I believe it will, and it pays for itself. Now, Calendly, on the other hand, is a similar value proposition. It's $15 a month, and you never have to email with, you have to, you have to have send one email to a person setting up a meeting. Instead of going back and forth multiple times, hey, what is your schedule? Oh, I can't do that, here's my schedule, can you do that? The meeting time gets slowed, like the, the timing gets slowed down. Um, people often don't respond quickly enough. Other meetings go on to the books. Maybe you forget to respond and now it's been a week and a half and you're trying to schedule a meeting. Maybe the meeting never actually happens. All of that is a potential possibility if you don't have Calendly. But if you do have Calendly, you say, hey, here's my schedule. Please book at your availability on your time zone, the whole thing, and the meeting gets booked. $15 a month. So when you think about the time value of money, I really think it's important for an entrepreneur and a business owner to ask, what tools can help me make greater value out of my time? What tools can I spend 15 or $30 on or whatever, 150, $200, whatever it is, that will save me more than that money in the time I get back and more productivity? And what you start to see is you have exponential more productivity in you. So that's the tip of the day. Think about the time value of money as you're making decisions about your business. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.